through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never 
last. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. Lights 
infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. Will you get a jump? Work for a swim? Fastest way down. Here too. <coughs> what are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It clocks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a the carcass behind. Take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Done. Me too. I'm ready. Goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found. Didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. So, um... What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there Down was a way. fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something. Get to the cross. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? It's eye. Those are its it's big a weak spots. spot. Right. Okay, concentrate. Another one's coming.
focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Got it. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother left. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. We'll be okay, Varl. Through here. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but... Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh. What's that stench? Entire camp. Find out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. It looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what... All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. I thought.
Huh. What's this thing for? What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure oh. to introduce you to... I might be able to get up there. Far Zenith. I don't think I can reach that ladder from here. Forget what you that think you know about us. Our truth but is how so... do I get up there? We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please, proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Wow, that works. That pull caster's useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Uh, Aloy, could you lower the ladder? Yeah, on it. There you go, Varl. Thanks. push the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest, 
and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity... it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. <coughs> what is that? I'm gonna go and kill those up soon. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. Up here. <laughs> Those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one, I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. <laughs> Moving off. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. In position. Gotcha. Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. I've been meaning to mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. 
These machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. Keep going, then. You've been in a lot of old world rooms. Are they all like this? Big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. But it doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Looks like we've got to climb up. Apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. <laughs> Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Onzu. 
The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but... She's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go, okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. And it's heading in the same direction we're going. I could try to find a weapon on it. All the awesome Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like we can cross over here.
So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow approached them. Would he be part of Parzina's crew? No. He was worse. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Ladder in the back. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the... Pit. I can make it to that tower. I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. Launch myself off that grapple point. I didn't get up high enough. I better try this again.
Made it. Tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. There is a cable here. Maybe I can... uh... Like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I'll bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall. Great. Okay. Time to crush those machines. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here.
center. Okay, where's that weak spot? Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzian conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And your subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. It's 
not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad, back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> 